So you really want to go in there after all you've been through? Well, the documentary has to show where it all happened, so. The year was 2009 and the valley was on edge with the cases of the disappearing film students. But the drama ended here. The chainsaw wielding lunatic was taken down while the cameras rolled. Hey buddy, what are you doing? We're filming here. I have the footage you wanted. Okay, let's take a look at it. Keep rolling. Gotcha! And that scary movie stuff hurt. Put the camera down. That's my old footage. Where did you find it? YouTube. Right over here. Stop. So, you wanted a documentary, huh? I'm going to give you instructional video instead. Power tool cutting through. All right, well, we got an interview in about 15 minutes. We should probably go. Thanks, anyways. Yeah, thanks. So I'll check out the video if there's any more details. Great building. Bet the roof leaks too. All right, we're good to go. Roll the camera. Rolling. So tell us about your relationship with the instructor. Nice guy, well dressed. Started getting a little weird around quarter three. No, maybe that was quarter four. We were shooting this music video and he kept talking to Zane Gold about this series of power tool instructions. Cut, 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 cut. What are you doing? We're filming here. This call at the old sound studio, like something's happening right now. Oh my God. It's begun. What do you mean they couldn't find the chainsaw? It's gone. Police say it was stolen from the scene of the crime. But I still remember when he came too, shackled by the cops. He looks me right in the eye and told me to get ready. It's got to be him. Yeah, or it's some sort of copycat nut. I mean, the one year anniversary is coming up in a week. That's true. Well, there is only one way to find out. Just go talk to him. Okay, so Denise Richards didn't look so good in real life. Can we please get back to the chainsaw? I can only mentor now. It's time for the next generation. Tomorrow, I'll face the electric chair. There will be more. Year after year, anniversary after anniversary, or until Andrew Buckley stops the madness. Andrew who? Sorry, dear. I have a date with the devil. Thinking and editing too much. This film's really starting to get to me. Is that you hear the news? No, why? Two more found dead. Off campus, but same mode of operandi. Wonderful. I've been looking at the footage of the first guy that got killed. And did you get copies of those police reports? Got him. See, this guy he says another guy fell asleep while editing, but... And you see him get attacked in the background. Yeah. There's no uh, record of him in here. Wait a second, this guy, he looks pretty familiar. Here, let me check some out. You see? 
He's an actor. That was taken six months after the incident. This doesn't make any sense. I think we have to talk to Michael again. No, I was there. I saw the whole thing. He put a light bulb in his mouth. It's like Uncle Fester. The guy's crazy. He just... Just, just a second. We have to call the prison for another interview because one of the victims is alive who's an actor. Your two lady was executed this morning. Well, now what? Now we shoot the reenactment scene anyway. I mean, answers or no answers, we have a deadline. Okay, no, but seriously, it was like a 100 watt light bulb. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it just lit right up. I didn't even know it was possible. It's funny. Come on out. We've got you on film. Keep rolling. Gotcha! That scary movie stuff hurt. Over there, camera down. So you guys want a documentary? Why don't I give you an instructional video? Chainsaw cutting, volume one! Cut, print, that's a wrap. Great shoot, that's exactly what we needed. Yeah, this story may go internationally. And you, you were great, man. This chainsaw looks just like the real one. Oh, no. It can't be. That scary movie stuff really hurt. <laughs>